So it's another day at the Chateau and the weather's sort of okay at the minute. I can feel a little bit of rain in the, the air but it's not too bad so fingers crossed it stays okay. But while it's okay we're planning on getting a bit of outdoor work done and we're going to go down to what was the original footpath entrance to the chateau. So the main road that we've got out front of the chateau is the National Road 12 which has always always been a road back when they had horse and cart and everything. Um, it's classed as the King's Road so that was the, the main road from I think it was Paris to Bordeaux so everyone passed from there so there was a, always a little footpath entrance right at the front so people would get dropped off there and they'd walk up to the chateau and get the, the full view of it but it's been left for quite some time now left to get overgrown and just fall into disrepair really now it's not something that we can actually use we're not going to be using it for anything but it'd just be nice to get it cleared up so it looks like it once was really and it could be used so yeah we're going to get down there we're going to start cutting some of the branches off just so it clears it getting some of the overgrowth some of the brambles and have a little look see if we can get this gate open and sorted but looking behind me it doesn't look too good but we'll see how it goes so mum paula and pete and ash are down here now so I better get down there, get sorted and get cracking on. So we've done as much as we can outside at the minute once we were working through rain and wind and everything and it's just got far too cold now it's looking glorious outside instead of looking out the shadow windows and it looks absolutely beautiful but the wind that we've got here at the minute is ice cold so we've decided obviously that there's not much more we can do outside just because it's just so cold but just stood here looking now out the window at the little sort of driveway that we've created the little sort of gate it looks brilliant you can see it all the way down there now and in time obviously we'll be able to 
tidy that up a little bit more so get the gate sorted get that open and probably put some finials on the top of the posts and some little lanterns there and then it's just a, a nice little area that's a bit more kept again so yeah it's looking brilliant but today's job is going to be to crack on here in the 401 suite so we've still got a mountain to do in here obviously we've still got the ceilings to do we've got a couple of last finishing jobs to do in here so in the salon we've still got the coven to do on this section and to do the part uh, in the bedroom we've got around the window to box in so once i've done the floor obviously we still need to do the other parts now and there's a panel next to the window that's still missing so we need to get that sorted and there's the beams here in the salon above the window that we need to have a little look at see if they need any work done to them and then after that we've got the actual ceilings to go up as well so here in the red, bed, the red bedroom obviously everything's pretty much done in here we're just needing to get it filled and get the ceiling up and mum's been busy she's got a coat of paint a primer already on one of the walls and it's looking fantastic just getting one of them already sorted filled and all drained up so if you remember we had the doorway in the corner there which went into what will be the bathroom and now it's just a full wall looking right the way across brilliant so except once all of this is filled and sanded we can crack on with the rest but because it's a bit cold and windy we thought today we'll look at getting the ceiling up and getting these last little sort of niggly jobs finished off and out the way so pete and ash have nipped out to Brico to go and get some plasterboard and some insulation and once they're back then we can all jump on it and look at getting the ceiling up which would be brilliant i think already on the 401 suite we're probably about i'd probably say around about three or four months ahead of like the same stage that we were in the 400 just because we know what we're doing now how to tackle stuff like the paneling and um, insulation which ones to get which ones to use how to do the wiring so yeah it's brilliant so i'm going to crack on with this because i have to get this coven up before they get back mum's going to look at get a paneling for the window in the bedroom in the blue bedroom and then hopefully we can get those done before pete and ash get back and we can get the ceiling up so i better crack on
luckily managed to get all my jobs done just in time so coven's all finished up here now i've got the last bit around the door and it's all back together which is brilliant so now that's all done Ash just got back and we can start cracking on with getting the plasterboard up on the ceiling in the red bedroom and then just creating a full room in there which will be fantastic so better crack on now First ceiling is up in the 401 suite and honestly it's just amazing to think just how fast we're moving through on this suite now it's just unreal to get this whole room as a room really obviously paneling has been completely flipped mum and Paula have been on with fillering and sanding we've got undercoat on one of the walls already it's just fantastic and it was only really what a few weeks ago when the room was just a complete shell and we took it all the way back to the the bare bones really obviously we had the beam up the top there where the window was or it used to be a long time ago we had to replace that and yeah it's just fantastic to get it up it wasn't too bad so we're just done with the next ones now we need to crack on with them so we've got the salon one to do need to get that up get that sorted paul has been busy with painting the windows as well for the salon so they'll be going in hopefully next month when the glass comes we'll be able to get them fitted because i'm studying at the minute and the draft coming through these windows this is the last set of windows that we've got that are like the old original ones and it's so so cold and it's so bad as well the weather at the minute so once they're done and they're changed then we'll feel a massive difference on this side because the whole second floor will be completely double glazed which is just fantastic it's like such an achievement to to be at this stage because i think maybe two two years ago to think obviously that we'd have 
this whole second floor double glazed. We never thought we'd get at this stage. So yeah, it's good. We've um, covered all the fireplace up now as well. So that doesn't get damaged because that's all completely finished. So we can crack on with this room and start filling and undercoat in this room. And then the final one to do is the bedroom. So we still need to get the chandelier out and get that back in storage. So we can crack on with the same in here, really. Get this filled, get it all sanded and get the ceiling up as well. And then once that's done, we can start finally looking at the mouldings and obviously bringing the rooms to, to life really and showing you what we're going to be doing with them and sort of what style they're going to go because as always obviously it's slightly changed from what we initially thought they were going to be we've sort of changed well tweaked it shall we say it's not gone too much we've tweaked it so we're still going with a, a french sort of style in here but it's going to be more of a um it's going to be more of like a louis the 14th baroque style now rather than doing a Louis the 16th and Marie Antoinette style. So it's still going to be very sort of over the top and flamboyant, but it's just going to be slightly different style. And then Salon is still going to be uh, Louis the 16th style. So that's going to be like quite sort of straight lines and masculine. And then the bedroom is going to be a Louis the 15th. So It'd be good. We'll have Louis the 14th, 15th and 16th style. <laughs> so, yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I know it's been a bit here, there and everywhere. Obviously, the jobs that we've had to get on with because of the weather has determined how this video has been, really. So we've had to do a bit here and a bit there and a bit in here and stuff like that. And it's just been... It's been a nightmare, really, because, like I said, we've just... There's so many jobs we want to get on with, especially outside, and the weather's just put a stop to that. We did get the little gate entrance, obviously that's looking fantastic now, but even that, obviously we could only film so much because of the weather, because it was raining so much, so we couldn't get any of the cameras out, we couldn't do anything really, because every time we did, the rain came down more and more, so... The footage we got was the most that we possibly could get without completely damaging the cameras. So I am sorry about that. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, hope you've enjoyed seeing a bit inside and a bit outside. It's good to mix it up a bit. Let us know what you think and we will see you in the next one. So thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.